a nice dry pine cone in the bottom of the fire. Paper or cardboard, whatever, don't need much. So I don't use a blowtorch anymore, I've got a different method. I um, open the glass a little bit here and I fill this section of the exhaust with uh, a little bit of paper. Maybe some real small sticks. Ava likes the stickies too, don't you? So you just a bit more in there. Then I'm just going to light that. And pop it in there. The reason I do this is it creates a, a suction draw through the whole system. Starts heating it. It was just too expensive, always use, getting gas canisters and the price of uh, wood pellets just kept on going up and up and I just got sick of it. I thought, no, I want a fly that just runs on anything I want to stick in there. And then you just uh, get another bit of cardboard for the top. Start getting that going. Once she starts drawing, you just close that. And then it's sucking air down out of this main feed chamber. Usually you can just drop one in there and it starts up. Beautiful. Yeah, there's a few new designs here I'll go over at some later point when I can think properly. But, uh, she's pretty mean. Nice window there. sucks the flames down when it's all going good. I've got a wee open port at the back there so it can um, bypass all that system and just suck straight up the chimney if I want. I've got a little closed valve here for that. I should really be feeding it a bit more. Just kind of keep it, keep it roaring with some small stuff for a bit. Then you can, once it gets a good bed, bed of embers then you can whacking big long big long sticks that just gravity feed themselves down for an hour or so before you have to think about putting in any more wood <coughs> all will be revealed Let's see in there it's starting to come away new bits on the bottom there few techie things and there's a few more techie mods to go yet techie modifications coming this is still just a prototype <laughs> but I'm getting real close real close to actually having something that I just feel good about it's nice and safe user friendly yeah, so she's starting to come away now Pop some of those into Mr. Fusion. Let's just heat up again in a sec. See the initial lighting paper for the drawer for the suction. Still burning off, so she's uh it's going to take a wee bit to get up to temperature. Cop was running on a full flue. 
system at the moment going right out the top. I'll show you that in a minute. Coming up to temperature. With this one, the air has been sucked down, the flames are being sucked down along here, then it gets to the glass and it splits and half the exhaust goes one way, half the exhaust goes the other way meets in the middle and goes up the flue I'll just show you outside, it's been going about five minutes she's still smoking at the top but once she's up to temperature that's going to stop straight away another couple of minutes probably party site Got a big sound system coming. Guys are still setting up. It's only Wednesday evening here at the Cobb Valley, so uh, it doesn't start till Friday. Got that teepee up there as well. One more to go up tomorrow. Look at this beautiful river at the back here. The whole back of the teepee opens up, zips and opens up, and then it's just gonna be this beautiful view. New Zealand bush, look at it. Big climbing rock up the back there. Actually my old boss uh, rock climbs that. He likes to do it when there's a dance party on here. He reckons he can hear the music pretty clearly. Wild New Zealand. Beautiful. Still smoking. Something, cook something for tea tonight on that one. Yeah, so it's been 10 minutes, so I'll just go outside and see if she's still smoking. Nothing. It's hot air. Sunset. Go around the back. Oh, there's still a little bit of smoke there. <laughs> I tell you, it works though. It's going to be 100% smokeless. Still a little bit. I'm sure you believe me. You can actually see the smoke residue like a cloud from start up in the valley. Yeah, as I was saying, it's uh, Wednesday evening. I've got one night here, then I'm going to go home for a bit. So I'm going to post this pre-start of the party. And then, yeah, should have some real good footage by the end of it to share. I can see in the background there, way up there, that's the main stage being built. Yesterday it was like 40 gusting 50 knot winds here. The poor teepee broke a pole. Had to like, yeah, pray really. Pray that it didn't turn into a very expensive kite. This dude's got a couch up there. <laughs> But a New Zealand Manuka wood, Manuka and Kanuka. Oh, it's just the best.
long burn time, hot flame. I tell you what else is good in it. Old pellets, uh, forklift pellets. Just old pine, untreated New Zealand pine. This is so nice and dry and crisp. I mean, I can leave that now for an hour or so and come back, she'll be humming. As uh, the temperature rises, you get more of a window in here of uh, the flames kind of, that you start to see them sucking down. This here is like a little airport. Just goes straight to the um, underneath the burn basket. So it's just all the embers are just getting fresh, hot oxygen pumped straight to it. And if you're a dirty smoker like me, sometimes you can blow your cigarette smoke directly in there, and it just sucks in. <laughs> Don't smoke. Quit smoking. She's been going about 30 minutes now. Should be completely bloody smokeless by now. See the heat ripples against the pine trees in the background. Appears to be completely smokeless to me, but hey, what do I know? Doesn't get much cleaner than that, you know. And doesn't give away your position either, you know. Set up your yurt or teepee or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, even in a house bus, house boat, whatever, you wouldn't even know. You got the fire going. Another little trick to get more of a flame effect going in here is if you close the top there, limit off the oxygen slightly, and the um, burn height just raises slightly so you get the flame effect. Try and zoom in there, can't quite see it going down yet, but you can see, yeah, you can see that one there going down. So hot, hand by the fire. Nice and toasty in here. It's um, just coming out of winter, spring, and it's been like raining for like solid a month, and the weather's just come right for this party. And so uh, yeah, there's snow on the back hills there. It could get down to like one degree tonight, but um, not in here. God, at the moment it's like 20, 20 degrees, 22 degrees possibly. It's like a summer's day in here. Kiwi degrees, that is. I've got no idea the American uh, equivalent. There's only one thing we weigh in ounces here. <laughs> Metric, y'all.